So you're filming YouTube videos or Instagram reels on your mobile device. That's a great idea. But now you've got to get them from your mobile device into the cloud where your editor can download them and make them into their final videos. Today, I'm going to show you our process for getting my phone footage over to Dropbox quickly and effectively so it's not burning up my phone and it's not like this thing that just gets pushed down the road a little bit. You're thinking to yourself, oh, I need to get this footage edited, but I'll do it later, I'll do it later, whatever the case might be. You should do it immediately after you're done filming. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's get started. I'm Owen Video. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we help six and seven figure companies go to the next level with profitable YouTube channels. And you know, Dropbox has some incredible tools that you probably don't even know you're already paying for. One of those tools is having access to the app on your mobile phone. So the first thing that I want you to know is that if you're filming video on your phone, you need to have a Dropbox folder that's always ready to receive mobile phone footage. So let's take a look at my screen right now. So I'm inside my Dropbox app and you can see a variety of different folders. And notice that I put the number one and the number two in front of these folder names. That keeps everything organized. If there's nothing else you get from this video, get that. Now, I put the number one in front of my daily use folder. So the folders that I use all the time, the folders that my team uses all the time, all of that is marked with number one. Anything that's a channel is marked with number two. So my Amazon live stream channel, my Beat Cancer channel, my wife's talk show, all of these things are labeled as two. And then three are priority non-daily files, right? You don't have to copy my system, I'm just showing you what those numbers mean, okay? So today, Ryan and I filmed a whole bunch of videos where we used my camera, but we also recorded my screen and we did some mobile phone trainings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that folder, it's called Active Projects. And inside of Active Projects, we have a folder called One Film Day, August 3rd, which is today's date. Ryan puts the number one in front of it so that it shows up at the top so that I can upload my footage when we're done. But before I upload my footage, there's something that I need to do. I actually need to turn off the screensaver on my phone because the moment your phone goes black, Dropbox will stop uploading your footage. That's key. Now it says, they'll say, well, you know, it'll keep the app open for best results. No, dude. If you close the app or your phone shuts off, it literally stops the upload. So here's what you're gonna do first. You're gonna go into your settings, okay? And then what you're gonna do is scroll up to display and brightness and go to auto lock. See, it says auto lock five minutes. Click on that and click never. That's the first thing that you're gonna do. And now what you're gonna do is swipe up and go back into Dropbox, okay? Now your phone will never shut off. And this is, this is also really key because just imagine, you just filmed a bunch of stuff on your mobile phone. Maybe you had it on a tripod, right? You had your mobile phone on a tripod, or maybe you were doing screen recordings. Either way, you're probably tired and caffeined out. So the whole idea is you're gonna upload your footage, and you're gonna put your phone on the charger, and you're gonna walk away, okay? And you're gonna detox, and you're gonna take care of yourself because you don't need to be on your phone all the time, all right? so. Little self-care tip from Owen Video. Let's click on film day, August 3rd. Okay, and you can see all the different videos that we filmed today. I'm not the guy to organize all this. Your editor is that person. So you can take the time to put the right footage in the right folders. I don't do that, my editor does that. And I have an overseas editor in the in the Philippines and it, you know, it cost me 15, 10 bucks an hour, something like that. So it's 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 a reasonable expense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the upload button at the top. And now what I'm gonna do, you can see all of this footage here. Look at 12 minutes, 17 minutes, 44 seconds. I don't really need the 44 seconds one, but basically all the things here up until the picture of my kids. And even this picture, it looks weird of vegetables. That was my lunch today. I want people to know I eat a plant-based lunch but that's gonna go on Instagram stories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these, okay? So I'm just gonna tap one, two, three, you know, all of this stuff. Some of it might be a duplicate, but it's okay. I'd rather that my editor have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Some of these are screenshots. Some of these are not. And so I don't need that picture of my two boys there, okay? 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click add and here's where sort of the magic happens. If you know the title of the video that you uploaded to, then you can rename all the files, right? So let's say that you're gonna upload, you, you filmed a video called, you know, how to do Instagram, right? I'm gonna unselect all these. So all of this green screen footage is from the first video that we filmed today. So I'm gonna click add. What I'm gonna do is rename them based on the title of the video. So this one was called shoot in one take. I'll click rename and notice how they'll all take on shoot in one take, one, two, three, four, and five, right? And then I'll click upload. Now, while those are being added down here into the folder, I'm gonna go ahead and add more. So I'm gonna click on upload photos. And this time, because I don't really remember all the screen shares that we used, I'm just gonna click on all of these. I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna rename them all and I'm gonna call them August 3rd screen shares. And that way, even though my editor will have to kind of like go through them a little bit, listen to the first couple sentences to, to hear what they're all about, everything in here is connected to August 3rd. And so it's organized. And I'm all about organization. I, I will not apologize for how much I love being organized. I'm not always the guy to organize it, but I'm the guy that hires someone who will organize it, right? So I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna click rename. I'm gonna click upload. And now all of my footage is uploading to the editor. So, or uploading to Dropbox, where now my editor can receive that footage. In fact, I can even come to, see how I'm in film day August 3rd? I could even come in here, click on the share button, get the share link. And then I could go to, you know, Instant Messenger and tell my VA, hey, I'm uploading all the footage. It should be there by tonight. Paste the link and I'm done. They already have the link. The files won't be there yet. The files are still uploading. But my phone is on never shut off and I'm gonna put it on the charger, which is actually on my other desk, but I'll put it on the charger. And from there, I can just leave it. I can go for a walk in the park. I can, you know, just breathe a little bit. I can eat some lunch, come back and grab my phone, jump back into settings, turn my auto lock off, and all of the work has already been uploaded into Dropbox. If you're filming on your mobile phone, that's great. But the next thing you gotta do is get that footage off of your mobile phone. Dropbox is a great tool for that. I do not believe in Google Drive. I think it's a terrible program. So start using this process. Do it as soon as you're done shooting so that your mind can be clear and you can go on to your next project. If you wanna learn more about how to manage your editor and how to run a video system so that video production is cheap and it's cost effective and it's easy, it's frictionless, then subscribe to this channel where we teach six, six and seven figure entrepreneurs to really make a strong, profitable channel on YouTube. I'm Owen Video and I'll see you in the next video.